Hey everybody, Deborah from Very Best Little Hair House and the Alternative Hair Alchemist podcast here today to give you a quick look at these two styles. I wanna do a side-by-side -side comparison. These are two of the exact same Hunter by Tony of Beverly. We've got hot cocoa here and rooted hot cocoa. Now I ordered two in because I always like to offer, once you come in and we narrow down the style and the colors, I usually order more than one color in so that you can see in person. Because I'm telling you, color rings really don't, you know, it's still a guessing game. You've got to see that wig in person. And each wig is gonna have its individual differences because they're all made separately. So while these are the identical same style, I'm gonna point out to you the differences that I notice going along. But let me tell you, Tony of Beverly usually knocks it out of the park no matter what on the quality front. They call their lace front a ready to wear lace front and it generally just as beautiful you don't need to trim and like if you see all these videos on how to fix your lace front you don't need to do that with these so these are both one of my favorite styles hand tied it's ultra low density i had a call today somebody asking me if i thin wigs out if they get one <laughs> the answer is no because i carry the wigs that don't need thinned in the first place like you should be able to put the wig on and be ready to go maybe a little customizing there are people that will tell you that that customization makes all the difference in the world and while that may be true for some people every time i've taken scissors to a wig but anyway, so again, hand tied. This is the non-rooted version of hot cocoa. One of the nicest browns out there. It looks like it occurs in nature. Like it looks like the sun has given you some nice gold type highlights and it's evenly distributed through the whole thing. So it doesn't look like, you know, some people like more of a salon highlight look, but that's up to you. I always like, you know, the more natural looking like you're just naturally beautiful and you are. So uh, in comparing these two, I see a slight difference in the bang. This one seems to be just a little bit shorter, but again, it's just like every time you go to your stylist and you get the same trim. Every time it's going to be just a little bit different. So I want you to know that when you order wigs in to expect a little bit of that. But overall, I'm going to tell you, the only person that will know the difference between these two wigs is you because I'm the same way. I will fixate on the difference. So that's just a little bit of learning how to cope with that, with that deep down knowledge that you are beautiful beautiful. Nobody's going to know it's a wig, at least not if you leave here with my advice. I promise you that. So again, quick look at the construction, hand tied, which means every hair is knotted by hand on there. It's the ultra lightest um, construction that you can get. And you're going to have beautiful parting versatility. Now, everywhere you part it, it's going to look like scalp growth. And, you know, to me, those fine tuning features make all the difference in the world. Now, now that I've messed this up, here is the rooted version. It's got a little bit of a darker to, you know, ground the, the colors in, you know, a little bit darker. And this comes in handy for women that are naturally very dark hair and don't know what color to go with because instead of toppers sometimes your hand tied wig is going to be your better option and if you leave your darker hair down sticking out then it blends perfectly with the darker color up front again hand tied construction hand tied ultra light comfort Trust me, the movement on a hand tied is unbelievable. You're able to clip it up and still, you know, you're not going to see any wefts or anything like that. So this is your comparison. Overall, they look pretty identical. The length is just about identical. You know, I, I don't know. I just think the decision will be hard between two of them. But you know what? My best way to eliminate second guessing, get them both. So 
check out my podcast, uh, Alternative Hair Alchemist, wherever you get your podcasts. It's kind of a tell it like it is thing, not just about wigs, but about what I see in the shop and what other women think and stuff like that. So anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time, peace, love, and alternative hair.